One of the things we've seen this month in the month of July as we go into August is we've seen more market internal divergences. What are market internals? We call market internals uh, metrics like the dollar sign tick and advancers. The market moves in the opposite direction. Sometimes that's the case, but it's been more so the case than normal as these indexes are narrow. These re represent the NYSE. And this is the broader market of 3,700 stocks. And the S&P is just 500 stocks. And the NASDAQ is 100. And they've been stronger than the broader market. Uh, the stock market has been stronger than the economy overall. A disparity between those indexes and uh, the market. And this is especially true of tech stocks and the NASDAQ. And so there are market divergences, but these, these do well historically also, and it's something that's really doing well now. Let's look at the past 18 months or so of uh, the results. You see some of the recent trades catching these reversals, reversal moves. It did well this week. The only day it did not do well this past week was Fed Day. A lot of our strategies did well on Fed Day. This strategy is very different and very diverse and does it trades much differently than any of our other current strategies. We're looking more for market internal divergent strategies. Here is the performance summary going back about 18 months, $115 average trade profit, $2,000 drawdown. This does not include slippage and commission, so you have to consider slippage and commission will come out and that this equity curve will be choppier. We look at the raw data. We will be placing this strategy in our portfolio calculator with $25 round turn slippage and commission. And this works well. I'm going to go show you the test seven years back as well. I actually have not tested it further than seven years back yet. But I will be putting the data going back to uh, 2007 or, or before that if I can. And with $25 round turn slippage and commission, and we'll take a look at those results. But right now, I'm going to show you the results going back seven years. I'm going to pause the video. This number still stays above our threshold when we go back seven years. Its average trade profit is 51 before slippage and commission going back seven years. But recent performance is what we really like, 115. So we look for strategies. We look for strategies that are very different than our current strategies that have great recent performance and historically still are consistent and have good performance. And so you'll see the results here when I update it. I'm going to pause the video for that. So here are the results going back seven years for tick, fader, e-mini, S&P. See the average trade profit, 5106, still above our threshold. Pretty balanced between longs and shorts, 21 on the long, 21,000 on the long side. $51 average trade profit on the long side. Um, short trades, $24,000, $50.96, basically $51. Extremely balanced, shorter, uh, smaller, drawdown on the short on the short side though so 28 87 50 if you're looking for a short only strategy this looks pretty good uh, the drawdown on the long side is bigger 69 75 here is the performance graph you see it's a little bit more um, volatile especially during this period right here from October 2015 that's when the Fed started raising interest rates off of zero initially and through March of 2016. So, um, and then since since December, since November of 2018, uh, we see this nice these nice results. Uh, we know the Fed had their pivot uh, at the end of 2018, and so that also helps. And then the current stimulus package on March the 23rd is right in here. Just continued equity peaks higher. So uh, nice, nice results, nice trading system. And this is going to be available to subscribers of the All Strategy Access. It will be added to the portfolio calculator. It's possible that we'll add this to some of the portfolios. So if you're a portfolio subscriber, you may also get this update. We still have to do this research. This is brand new, and I'm excited to have this strategy. I want to show you where you can become a subscriber. Here at Capstone Trading, you go to capstonetradingsystems.com, you click on Market Portfolios, and All Strategy Access includes all of these portfolios here. So if you get the All Strategy Access, you get 
all of these plus all the trading systems and not all of our trading systems are listed on the site there are 77 plus trading systems now and so um, these other portfolios are more specialized so they include a different set of systems you can read about those and so excited about August July was a down month first down month for some of these portfolios um, it was actually an up month for the 25k 50k diversified I mean, some of these a lot of these were down on the month and so not a fun month the last seven days were difficult and so we're looking to rebound as we go into August